don't know. Dennis, do you have a listener Pro mail? I did, but, yes, I do. <laughs> well, if only we got lots of mail. Hmm. My fingers, I think they're going to break. <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to say. Oh, no! <laughs> Okay, this is from Sarah. Mm -hmm. Hello, all. I'm an atheist, and I go to Grand Canyon University. Yes, I knew going in it was a Christian school, but it was an affordable school that allowed me to complete my master's degree online while still being able to work. I ran into a few of us atheist non-believers. One classmate was Buddhist, and a whole variety of different views. That being said, there was a prayer forum, and a lot of my classmates would end up with God bless talk about God, etc., which was annoying, but it made me more tolerant of my Christian counterparts, a vital skill when providing mental health services in a red state. Mm. The point is that I believe if we are to change minds, we need to interact with these people and show them that we are good people with meaningful lives without a God. I did not attend the school with the intention of changing minds, but I did use the opportunity to share my perspective in a thoughtful, non-judgmental way. Mm. Hmm. So, I mean, that's one approach. Good yeah. for you. That good works. You, yeah. That that's an approach we need. Of one of one of many. <laughs> one of many. Yeah, I would say it is an interesting kind of activism, and I definitely agree as far as what is likely to change a single, what is likely to help like a single individual that uh, doesn't have a lot of skin in the game, as it were. Mm -hmm. Like getting them to recognize that no, this is an important thing. And, well, the listener didn't say this, Sarah didn't write this in, but this is a thing, it does affect me, it does hurt people, you should care, is a good way of getting, like, the, like, wishy-washy, I don't even, well, uh, Right. People. I'm Christian because my parents said so. Yeah, like, but what does it even mean? Why would you be mean by saying that you're atheist? Like, well. Our very existence is an insult. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Eh, I don't know. Don't we eat babies? I mean, I'm supposed to. That's not a. I mean, that's not because of atheism. That's just a, a, uh, like a, that's just just a human thing. That's just a human. It's not the I non trans, mean, non spiritual transcendental thing. Yeah, I mean, whether or not my chakras are aligned doesn't affect whether I eat babies. So <laughs> it's but whether the chakras baby's are chakras are aligned. That's <laughs> how you get the good meat. Just toss a toe in. Mm. <laughs> Colorful chakras. Wow, this, uh, this derailed very quickly. Yeah, very quickly. <laughs> I don't know. Have you guys ever had that situation where you were stuck like with a, a co-worker or something? Or no. Family? Or fa well, or, I was going to say where you were then like, t like wanting to be nice and explain things, but I, I figured asking about family might be interesting with that. I don't know. I, no, I haven't been in that situation, oddly enough. Mm. No. Because I feel like um, usually there's a, an amount of mutual um, interest that needs to be there to be uh -huh. able to do that. Mm -hmm. and Common ground. Right. Yeah. And uh, most of the time I find that uh, the religious will find that without me and then just decide to... Sh spiel at me mm. um, but I tend to have a little bit more respect for them and just say if you ask me I will tell you mm. but I will sure. not spew I will not vomit all of my religious and political oh, yeah. opinions at you mm -hmm. mm. which apparently have... is not an opinion that everyone else <laughs> 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 uh, I, I, I try I, I try to avoid them yeah. it's it's unfortunate but it's like Uncomfortable. They're, they're, it's uncomfortable, and they are acting on irrational beliefs. So it's difficult for me to trust their judgment because mm -hmm. they'll come up with conclusions that are just out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Mm. I don't know. I think in a way it's almost like there, because the the preponderance of the, the the whole gamut of relatively popular irrational beliefs is like wider now, right? Like there's an actual like population of organized people that believe the Earth is flat, 
and that believe that vaccines aren't safe, right. that global warming is a hoax, Ugh. or some other such non-anthropomorphic, anthro, mm -hmm. human-affected uh, thing. Why well, I just lost my English yeah. and my train of thought. But they, like, so there's a whole spectrum of people that are coming to irrational beliefs, mm -hmm. and it's sort of. It's not narrowed Trump is a one specific effective press. True, but is it connected? I don't know. I think maybe the underlying thinking is. Mm. Like, I think I, this will be an unpopular thing uh, because it. we're doing it. I mean, it's the the bubble making machine of the internet. Yeah, you get to stay in a bubble, and if all you interact with is flat earthers, likely you'll think the Earth is flat. Yeah, so it's. Yes, however, I would like to push back on that. Uh -huh. because Please, because I, I don't want to believe that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a little bit. I mean, there is definitely something to be said for, you know, um, external influence, whether that's in a, you know, a bubble yeah. or across yeah. a wider mm -hmm. um, audience. But I, growing up, I was in a bubble. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I still didn't believe. Huh. Yeah. Um, so I think there is some amount, there must be some amount of um, mm -hmm. uh, biology or neuro something. Yeah. or something um, that makes people a little more prone to fanciful thought. Well, have you ever wondered about like why a stupid person doesn't realize they're stupid? There is actually a term for that. It's called the... It is called the um, Dunning Kruger effect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Where. Uh, um, unfortunately familiar or, with that. Are, are we yeah. saying stupid or just ignorant on, say, things? Well, a good example would be someone, uh, you know, if someone would be like somebody going to audition for like American Idol and they think that they're a really good singer. And then, like, the minute they open their mouth, they sound horrible, but yet they can't understand why mm -hmm. the judges rejected them in the first place. I think mm. also. The president may be a good example of that too. When there's really a lot of examples with him yeah. to name, <laughs> really, because well, I assumed he had like you know all the words, the best words, all yeah. well, of them. And um, you know, so basically, what I read is that um, mm. people lack what is called metacognitive, which is you know the ability mm. to to realize that you don't know very much. And mm. so right. basically, yeah. the short answer is the reason why people are so dumb that they can't they don't realize that they're dumb is because they are dumb. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, it's <laughs> it's like the, the excuse given uh, for the show Bullshit. Mm. Yeah. People ask them, you know, how do you get these whack jobs on your show? Mm -hmm. You know, they know they're going to be, they know they're going to be mocked and ridiculed. And he goes, and, and uh, he said, actually, they don't. <laughs> they they think they're bulletproof. They think yeah. their their They've whacked out they belief is be bulletproof. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's like wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of that. There's like um, it. It's like the big dreamers. Like I met someone once uh, from Austin who believed that in 2020 they were going to be elected president. <laughs> they. Had a college degree, um, yeah. and then I don't actually know what job they had because at a certain point, I wanted to stop asking them questions. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. but they said like, "Oh yeah, no, the thing I do with my spare time is I go to the university library and I read about like government and stuff." Right. And in that conversation, it was actually an after-show uh, dinner. They came, and through the course of that conversation, I could kind of tell what their level of, of intellectual depth was as far as the understanding of the concepts that would come up. And I now have to conclude that, yeah, no, it's possible that they could be president, but um, only, if they, wow. only if they become popular in a party. Only because uh, the bar dropped to the floor. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. What bar? Um, yeah, I don't know. Do you mind later sharing me the, uh, the name of that person? Because... Um, I, I dated somebody like that, and <laughs> <laughs> wow. now you're saying he actually thought he was the president. No, he was going. To he be. was going. To he be. was like, I don't wow. know, yeah, I'm going to run. I'm going to be. I'm going to be president, and I'll, I'll be able to win or whatever. It's like these the delusions of like grandeur. fantasy. It's like, oh, I can figure this delusions out. Of right? Grandeur and right. yeah, delusions of grandeur. Right? It's the no, you don't have the the metacognition, the critical evaluation to think. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Right. Or how about this? How about um, maybe I'm not that special? Well, this is America. No one can possibly think that they're not special here. 
That's true. We're yeah. all pretty entitled. That's mm-hmm. right. It's part First of it. Well, I mean, except for me, I'm the best, and like, it's okay for me to do that because, like, I'm. Like, I don't know what it is. I just have the right to do that without having earned it. I don't know if there's a word for that. The right to do what? We're all what? temporarily embarrassed millionaires. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Temporarily embarrassed millionaires. millionaires. Yeah. yeah. That's. Uh, 